Well, there are a number of principles behind harm reduction policies, but I think to bring it down to its base level, what we're talking about is protecting people. When people talk about a war on drugs, that always says to me that that's a war on our people. It's a war against my kids and other people's kids, and, and they're the ones most likely to be caught up in this. I spent years working in the prison system, and I've seen how people end up there, not necessarily just for drug possession, but that's a cascading effect. You get caught with a, a small amount of drugs, they look for other things, you come into contact with the criminal justice system, it leads into more contact with the criminal justice system. Once your name is there, the police tend to target you a bit more. If you're young, and you're living your life more outdoors than indoors because you don't have your own home or you live with your parents or you just don't have your own home, you're more likely to come to the attention of police and the authorities. And so that puts you in a more vulnerable position. What I always say to people is, oh, but if you're breaking the law and all that, so just think about when you were growing up, how many times you sailed close to the wind, if not stepped over the line as well and sometimes, but because of luck, your position, where you were, who you were, whatever it may be, you didn't get caught and what the difference would be if you got caught at that time and if you weren't, and what the impact would have been on your life had you been caught. And that's critical when you think about the impact of a drug conviction has on someone's life, particularly like an 18 or a 19 year old. If they get a drug conviction, that means their opportunities for a number of occupations, a number of travel restrictions apply. All those sorts of things come to bear about what's gonna happen for the rest of your life because you have a drug conviction. People often talk about the punishment fitting the crime. Well, I find it hard to think that someone would actually believe that uh, a joint or a pill or a couple of pills or a couple of joints constitutes the need for a lifelong punishment. But that's in reality what we give people when we give them a drug conviction. That's why it's important that we operate off the principles of harm reduction, which means you allow or accept people to do make decisions that may not be in their best interest. If they choose to use drugs, they choose to use drugs. That doesn't automatically make them a problem for society or make them a criminal. It should not because it's just a choice they make.